Okay, so in the previous video, we went ahead and uploaded this video, okay, to WordPress, just, you know, after exporting from uh, Video Maker Effects, and we got it into WordPress straight away. Now, in this one, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to show you how to use Camstasia to create your video player, okay, which is HTML5, and, you know, it, it means that uh, it automatically adapts to whatever device has been playing, so allows the video to play. Now to do this, now we don't gonna need to use uh, we don't gonna need to use the video maker, so I can close that. We don't need that now. And as you can see, this is the video we uploaded on a previous video, still there on the website. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open Camstasia, and here is the video that we created. If you remember the sample video. <laughs> Okay, so here is the video that we're gonna now bring that into Camstasia. Okay, now we just kind of click and hold, drag and drop. Now we're gonna drop that into the timeline. And so what we're gonna do is just create the player. That's all we need to do. So basically we're gonna go to produce. And I'm gonna produce it Okay, it video player. Okay, so we're gonna go 720 uh, with video player. So remember that you select the one in the video player. Okay, click next, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one Sample 2. Okay. And I got click finish, and Camstage is now creating the video. As you can see, it's already created a folder there, which has all the files with the player and everything. And all we need to do that. Next is to get that into uh, the live service or the video plays and change a couple, couple of links and add the video to this page. So we're going to add the video to this page as well. So I'm just going to pause it and wait for this to finish. Okay, there you go. So Camstage has finished creating the, the player, the video, everything. So the video is here. Now all we need to do is get this video into the live website. Okay, so basically all we need to do is we need to get the video into the live server. So I'm going to minimize this one. This one I can finish with that. And we finish with this one as well. Nothing to save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, FileZilla, so FTP FileZilla or FileZilla client to connect into my server. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just going to log into my main website here. So if you don't know how to do this, I put the I put a link below this video how to use FileZilla so you can work this out. Okay. But basically, all we need to do is go to public HTML, and under the public HTML, okay, since this is not a video that needs to be protected, I'm just gonna go to open space here, and I'm gonna drag the entire folder. Okay, this entire folder, I'm gonna drag it to here and drop. Okay. Now it's uploaded, as you can see, it's ready to, to be used. Now I just need to find that folder. Okay, to make sure, so sample two, which is here. So, and inside you can see there is the script, the skins, uh, the, the HTML, okay? That's what we're gonna use. But for that, we're just gonna use the one that we have on the computer, right here. Okay, it's open in my other screen here. And we're gonna, open this one. It's already open, but I'm going to double click to open. And the video opens like this on your browser. Okay. Now, outside here, in this area, you right click, view source. Okay. And you're going to copy this line here from iframe to iframe. So you're going to copy all that. So I like copy, open your, you know, notepad or wordpad. Maybe wordpad is the best. And paste it okay now all we need to do here to get this video to play is we need to add the location where the video is at and we're gonna add this location after uh, CRC okay SRC okay so here we're gonna put a forward slash and we're gonna add our domain so in this case let's go here to the website where I'm gonna host the video Okay, and that's my domain. So I'm just going to copy that. 
okay, uh, the HTTP. So if you copy that from Google Chrome or from your browser, it should bring the HTTP with it. So let's go back to the file here. And right there where I put the forward slash, we're going to control V, okay, control V or copy and paste. You can also, you know, use the mouse copy and paste. Now you can see that I now have two spaces there. So all I need to do is copy this one here. I just need to copy the sample two and put it in between that two lines there. Okay, so this is going to tell the system where the video, where the video at. Okay, now. You just follow these steps, do it, and you know you will see it works. And after you do it a couple, a few times, you will realize why it works. Okay. Now copy everything iframe to iframe. Go back to the page, click Edit Page, or you can create a new page if you want to. So I'm just gonna use this one. And below the previous video, I'm just gonna add the pound sign there. Move it to center. Okay. Go to text. I like that. I'm going to paste my iframe there. And I go back to visual. And now you can see the video is very small. So we're going to go back to test again. Well, after you did that, you go back to test again. And now if you look closely, you will find that you can sh now change the size of the video. Okay, you can see the size. Okay, width and height. So we're going to change this here. For my website, it's a 560. by 340 okay that's the size for my template to fit my template I click update view post and there it goes okay so the video that we created is now here so this I did this one but this one, because of the way we did it, and the other one using my encoder, which is already installed on the server, they both play on mobile devices and any mobile devices. Now, if you do this exactly the same way we did it, Camstager for HTML site or PHP site will work as well because it's an HTML5 encoded. So, which means, you know, you know, inside of that folder, if you remember this folder here, there is various formats of video. Okay. Uh, that's going to be used for the system to automatically detect what device is being played on and it then plays uh, the video, changes the video format to to play on a mobile device. So there you go. So there is the second way to add um, a video to, you know, you can add it to WordPress, to HTML sites or, you know, upload your video to the web, to your websites, to the web and that's it. Please check the links below this video. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Zenunz. Bye-bye for now.